The Netherlands secured a quarter-final spot against Spain at the FIFA Women's World Cup but not before enduring several anxious moments against South Africa. Jill Roward, Manchester City's new club record signing, nodded the Dutch ahead in the ninth minute but South Africa went close to equalising several times against the 2019 runners-up. Banyana Banyana captain Thembi Kidlana was once again a real handful and forced four fine saves from Daphne van Domsela, Aston Villa's new goalkeeper, at Sydney Football Stadium. Lilith Berenstein doubled the lead after a mistake by South Africa keeper Kaylin Swart in the second half. The Netherlands will return to New Zealand to face Spain in Wellington next Friday, 2 o'clock BST, for a place in the semi-finals. However, they will be without midfielder Danielle van der Donk who picked up a second yellow card and is suspended. Relive the action as Netherlands defeat South Africa at the FIFA Women's World Cup. Another lightning start. The Dutch are two wins from reaching back-to-back finals after another lightning start to a game at this tournament. Roward's early header, after Leek Martins had been denied by a clearance off the line, was the sixth time they have scored inside 20 minutes. Their second goal was a gift, Swart allowing a seemingly routine shot by the recalled Berenstein to slip through her grasp and into the net. Advertisement It was a horrible moment for the keeper but it secured the Dutch their third win of the tournament. They have had a near-perfect World Cup so far and were only denied victory over four-time world champions the United States by Lindsay Horan's equaliser. Andries Jonker, the former assistant to Louis van Gaal at Bayern Munich and Barcelona, has been tasked with going one step further than the last World Cup when Serena Wiegmann's side were defeated 2-0 by the United States in France. They head into the quarter-finals in fine form and with Spain in their sights. South Africa bow out with heads high. Banyana Banyana are heading home but they have certainly left an impression at this World Cup. Their players have brought joy with their dancing and singing before and after games, while on the pitch their exciting fast-paced attacking play has entertained fans. And all this despite a dispute with their national association. South Africa's players will receive $50,000 each from FIFA for reaching the last 16 but nothing from the South Africa Football Association, SAFA. Despite this, they have been a joy to watch with their late win over Italy in their final group game sending them into the knockout stage for the first time. South Africa went toe-to-toe with the Netherlands despite losing Jermaine Sia Posenway and Bambanani Mbane to injury before half-time. The impressive Kitlana has caused huge problems with her pace at this World Cup, scoring two and assisting another two goals, and she was once again dangerous against the Dutch. The 27-year-old had five of South Africa's, seven attempts on target in this match but found herself frustrated by Van Domsela. Will Banyana Banyana be back in 2027? South Africa are aiming to host the next Women's World Cup. They have certainly entertained at the 2023 edition and they will be missed.